What's up guys, it's Friday. And you know, it's been like, I don't know, a minute and a half since we had Gary Brecka on the show. So it's time. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for the algorithm. Oh, Gary's back talking about ice baths. I feel like we've covered this before. You put the body under certain stressful situations, fasting, for example, cold water immersion. When you start to link the fact that you have muscles contracting, you raise your metabolic rate, you increase dopamine and endorphins, all of that points to the same thing, fat loss. There's very little, if any evidence at all, that colder is better or longer is better. That's what she said. Three minutes minimum, six minutes maximum, that's it. As you make the- So, so, hold, 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 hold on. So you're saying there's no evidence colder is better. You're saying no evidence longer is better, but you're saying it causes fat loss. Hmm. Interesting. So somehow this raises your metabolic rate, but then after three to six minutes, it just shuts down and goes back to normal. There's no additional benefit. Huh, okay, interesting. I have some math we're gonna pull out here in a little bit. Let's see what else falls out of Gary's mouth. You're becoming adaptive. You're not called shocking the body, you're called adapting the body. Ooh, high performance. Not of the brain, apparently. You're just, first off, high performance. You're sitting in ice water, who cares, okay? Like if you wanna do it, great. There's some evidence that can decrease inflammation, decrease pain, decrease muscle soreness, and that's about it. Oh, also really good for social media to see you jumping into an ice bath and videoing it because people are like, oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's do some simple math. Let's say that an ice bath could cause very modest weight loss, like a pound of weight loss a week, about 500 calories a day. If you did it once a day for, let's just say six minutes, let's say that's a maximum, 500 divided by six. That means over the course of an hour, it would increase your energy expenditure by approximately 5,000 calories in an hour. But, but, but Gary's not saying that, of course, right? He's not, because he's not crazy. He's not crazy. So what is he saying? Oh, that somehow this thing that ramps up metabolism for three to six minutes, then completely shuts it down. It ramps it way up, way up. 500 calories over six minutes, at least, because we're being very conservative with this. But then after six minutes, just completely shuts it down. No, not actually after that. There is literally no system in the human body that I am aware of that operates like this, where something drastically increases it and then it just shuts down after that. Who buys this stuff? Oh, I know who buys stuff like this. People who don't wanna take personal responsibility for their sh Why? Because it's easier to say, well, I can just jump in an ice bath for three to six minutes. It's gonna burn all the fat. Or you could go, well, you know, I don't like ice baths, but and that's the best way to lose fat. I guess I can't lose fat. No, you can go pay attention to your diet, work out hard in the gym, and you can lose fat. And in the human randomized control trials, what happens when they do ice baths for this period of time or longer. They don't lose fat. But what does happen, at least in longer studies where people are in cold water for longer, is it actually increases their appetite. Once again, Gary lands on this show for saying absolutely ridiculous stuff that anybody who can do basic division and multiplication can completely debunk in 30 seconds. If you bought into this, my advice to you is go back to probably second grade and relearn multiplication and then take third grade again and relearn division so that you can actually use your brain and determine that this is in fact bullshit. I'm out.